Oh, here, look. Uh, Minister, I just want to uh, speak to Michael McNamara's amendments, which I fully support. Um, today, we saw MOCRA, as it has been mentioned, uh, come up here, launch their campaign, Steps for Our Future, and I want to commend each and every one of them. They're young farmers and they're fighting for their future. And I believe, and, and many others too, that we need to get to grips with the whole issue of generational renewal. And the reason why that has become such an issue and the reason why many people have been put off from going into farming is because there's not enough confidence there that they have a future and that they have, will have a viable income and a sustainable income uh, to farm. And, and they're being forced, many of them, um, to only farm part-time or indeed to abandon the idea entirely. But if we are to get to grips with generational re renewal, we need to restore confidence, we need to instil confidence in young farmers that we are behind them here as politicians on every, every side of the house and that there is transparency in terms of price, um, you know, that they will have a, a decent income at the end of it. But it was mentioned by Deputy McNamara there about the retailers and, and selling to processors. There has to be transparency there. I know, Minister, that in January there you mentioned that the new office of the regulator would have two key functions and that it would deliver price and market analysis and reporting functions. But it needs to deliver accountability. It needs to hold recess, uh, retailers and processors accountable. Because, you know, this, this uh, regulator needs to have teeth and we need to get to grips, as I say, with these issues or we're going to have a situation which is far worse than we have where the age profile is increasing all of the time uh, among farmers. And certainly in the Rural Independent Group here, we've been supporting farmers every day. Not just one day when they're forced to come up to Dublin and demand their rights and fight for their future. But certainly, I know we here raised many a time about the, the lack of transparency in terms of price. And we also brought forward a bill in 2020 uh, calling for transparency in the beef sector because we had made commitments to beef and suckler farmers in our constituencies and, and we did follow through. But what we need now is we need to collaborate and make sure that we can work together here as TDs to ensure that the farmers have uh, indeed more transparency and that they are getting a fair price for high quality produce. I mean, the, you know, the work that goes into to doing what they do and input costs are rising all of the time. And, and indeed, we can all see that many farmers are demoralised and, and they need to have, as I said earlier, confidence that they are going to be rewarded for their work in producing, uh, as I said, high quality food. So what we need here is, and, and look, only government can bring forward this legislation, um, but there has to be efforts made. And indeed the new food regulator can't be just there in name and tokenistic. It has to really have teeth. It has to, you know, have the powers to issue fines up to 10 million to companies in breach of unfair trading practice reg regulations. And that's what I want to see evidence of. Um, an immediate culture change in this area. Ireland has plenty of experience of what happens when light touch approach to regulation is implemented. And we don't need a repeat here. We need true accountability. We need to build confidence fast and we need to promote farming and indeed try to attract more young people into it. Nobody wants to see a hostile regulatory environment being create, created. But what we do need to do urgently is shift the balance of power in this particular area where for too long the farmer has had to just walk away and accept the price he or she was given and then not knowing what price, the, as I said, the retailer is paying to the processor. I mean, these are basic reasonable asks and I believe that if political will exists within government that this should be made a priority and indeed uh, put into action as soon as possible and therefore I support uh, Deputy McNamara's uh, amendments. Thank you.